What's going on everybody? This is the MTB Rad Dad doing something a little different today. We are out at the Korea Creek Motocross Track over in Anza, California. Uh, if you remember George, he's out here with me today. Uh, yeah, like a lot. I've already been on the track once and I was incredibly nervous. I uh, haven't been on a track in probably eight years. And uh, yeah, uh, let's see some video from that right now. Let's go straight into it. So like I mentioned previously, I haven't actually been on a track in over eight years. So getting back onto the track was quite, I would say the word, I wouldn't want to say the word scary, but I was nervous for sure. I pretty much stayed on the vet track all day. And for those who aren't familiar with that term, it's basically a track that's easier, more suited towards beginners and the veteran class, AKA, you know, the older guys. The bike I'm riding is a Honda CRF 450X, which is a bike designed more for trail and desert riding. The bike essentially has a different gearing setup, softer suspension, lights, and this one for instance has a desert tank which allows me to hold more gas. And all that is terrible for being on a track. It's pretty funny because the track closes at 2pm and they do that because it gets hot, even though it's only got to like the mid 80s that day. So George and myself found that we were pretty stoked to be riding in the weather that was that cool since we're both used to the hot desert heat of 100 degrees plus. progressed through the day, I got quite a bit more brave on the jumps. I cleared this one for the first time and as you hear, I was pretty stoked. After clearing this jump, it kind of unlocked something in me and it gave me the confidence to start clearing other jumps. I immediately started clearing jumps after jump and getting into a better rhythm. Now, quite honestly, I still left the day not clearing everything, but I will blame it on two things. One, quite frankly, I couldn't muster up the balls to hit some of the bigger jumps even though I could do it. Number two. My bike is not designed for this kind of riding. Yeah, I know, blaming the bike, but list, well, hear me out. No joke, I bottomed out my fork a couple times. Thankfully, I know just enough about suspension that I was able to make some adjustments to the compression dials on the top of the fork, and that seemed to help. You know, motocross bikes have a suspension that, quite honestly, make them easier to jump. They're more designed for this kind of riding. One of the things that got me over the fear of hitting some of these jumps is that I found that if I gave it a little bit more gas, I would clear it. So coming up on some of these jumps, I gave it a little bit more gas and I was clearing them with ease. And I gotta say, the amount of fatigue that you sustain from coming up short on every single jump is way higher than if you clear it and land where you're supposed to. I feel like this gave me quite a bit more confidence on the mountain bike as well. I can't wait to go back to Snow Summit and use what I learned on Party Wave or the new trail uh, Blue Steel once it opens. You know, speaking of being fatigued, I hurt so bad for the next few days, I, I had trouble walking, and there's so many muscles you you don't really realize that you have until you try something new, and you just obliterate them. <laughs> I took it easy on this video for the most part, to be quite honest. I found it difficult to edit the video, as it, it's, a, it's a bit repetitive. So I took my first lap, and one of my better laps, to show the comparison that I made during the day. I do look forward to the day that I can go back to this track, but have no idea when that might be. Let me know if you enjoyed watching this and what your thoughts are. Like I said, I kept this video pretty easy and straightforward since I wasn't quite sure how to edit this. I wanted to at least put out something rather than scrap the footage and the main thing for me is the confidence that I gained from jumping and I wanted to share that with you guys.
don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you can see new content every week. I'm currently trying to stick to a two video per week upload schedule, tech stuff, product reviews on Mondays, and ride videos on Thursdays. Well, you rad people, this is the MTV Rad Dad signing off, and I'll see you next time.